Okay, so a couple of days ago, I'm sitting in that chair getting ready um, to record this video. And as I'm prepping and, you know, pondering what I'm going to say, um, one of my three-year-olds comes in and I hear, Mom, it's red. And I look at him and he has blood running down his face, all over his hands. He's like gone like this, so it's all over his forehead, in his hair blood everywhere and it's pretty clear that it's a bloody nose but i still do all the things you're supposed to do like ask did you run into something um did you hit something did one of your siblings hit you in the face and he's just standing there perfectly calm and he's like is it ketchup so needless to say i did not get any filming done that day because then I had to put him in the bath and when you bathe one twin you definitely have to bathe the other twin and after you bathe the twins all they want to do is run around naked and they're fast enough now that I can't catch them so things didn't go as according as according to plan that day however it's perfect because the tag I am doing today is how in the world do moms read <laughs> So hi, my name is Talia. I like books. I like bandanas. I have three young children and today I'm doing the how in the world do moms read tag. There's a child here right now. What do you need? I need to go potty. You can go potty. <laughs> so today I am doing the how in the world do moms read tag. This tag was created by Kelly over at Kelly Reads A Lot, and she actually created this tag in honor of Mother's Day, and I am just very behind at getting to it because a lot of things are going on here being a mother. Um, but I do want to do this tag because I think it's a question that definitely before I really got into reading and started my channel was a fair question to ask. How do moms get reading done? So the first question is, how do you get any reading done? So the first thing I would say, if you would like to get reading done as a mother is get up before your children, go to bed after your children. That is what I do. The most reading I get done before they are awake or after they are in bed. Oh, hang on, a kid needs me. Okay, I'm back. So, like I was saying, the first way I get reading done is by getting up before my children and going to bed after my children. Um, my children get up at 7.30 in the morning. My daughter has a wake-up light, and that is when she is allowed to come out and get her brothers out um, of their rooms. And I typically get up somewhere between 6 or 6.30, usually 6.30, but the cats sometimes wake me up before that. So then I get up then so that I can spend an hour reading or doing the things I need to do before the children are awake. Um, typically in the morning, I'll start with reading the Bible and some sort of like spiritual book, either a devotion book or a book on marriage or a book on parenting, some sort of... Um, not right now, okay? I'll do it after quiet time. After I'm done with my video. Yes, I will. Okay, so go back to your rooms. Okay, usually quiet time isn't this bad. Um, <laughs> we're having a rough time staying where we're supposed to be today. Anyways, so that's what I do typically in the morning. I start with something that's going to give me a little bit of an oomph to start the day. Um, I don't know about you, but when I wake up and the first thing I do is like check my phone or read the news or have a child immediately needing something, um, my day just doesn't start as well as if I start reading, focused, centered. Okay. When I can take some time, read some stuff that I believe to be important to build myself up spiritually or emotionally or just as a human, that is super helpful for me. So that is the morning. Um, and then sometimes if I have extra time, just depending on what I'm reading or what I'm doing, I'll read just some for leisure in the morning as well. The next time I read, is during quiet time 
which is hit or miss. As you can tell, I've been interrupted a few times today during quiet time. So my kids are three, the boys are three, and my daughter's four, and they do not nap anymore, but they do have an hour of quiet time every day, which they are supposed to stay in separate rooms and play quietly. Again, not always quiet, not always doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing like today, but that's the goal. And during that time, I either read or film or edit. I try not to do any housework during that time with the exception of sometimes folding some laundry, um, just because it's time that I get a break to spend some time on things I would like to do. I also read um, during the day. I do audiobooks um, when I'm doing dishes or sweeping or mopping or doing any of those sort of housewife tasks. I usually have one earbud in and I'm listening as I do that work and that way I can be engaged if the kids need me but also I can just kind of have something else going on in my head while I'm doing those not so fun tasks. Um, my kids are also getting to the age where sometimes they'll um, play for extended periods of time like if I give them play-doh or they have this kinetic sand um, they still need quite a bit of supervision um, cause they like will fight or, um, they literally are having a riot out there right now. I'm going to have to go discipline just a second. So sometimes if they're playing nicely, I can sleep in, I can sneak in a page here or there. Um, we also live in a cul-de-sac and the weather has not been nice very often, but every once in a while when we have a nice day, they like to ride their bikes around the cul-de-sac. And it's in a secluded enough area that I can sit on the porch and watch um, and kind of have a book. I never can be super focused or spend a long time doing that, but I can kind of be reading um, while they are playing in the front yard and grabbing toys in and out of the garage, um, stuff like that. So I get reading done sporadically throughout the day. It's never big chunks of focused reading time. The time when I get most of my reading done is after my children go to bed. Um, they're typically in bed between 7 and 7.30 and they sleep pretty well with the exception of sicknesses or the occasional nightmare. Um, for pretty much they sleep through the night. So I do a lot of reading in the evening. I love after I get the kids in bed, I love to just sit over here or on my bed or downstairs or on the front porch. I love to just sit with a book and read. Um, I do not watch TV really anymore. Um, I just, there's not enough hours in the day to do that. So I do not. Um, I do watch a lot of YouTube, my fellow booktubers, um, and I will participate in Discord, but I don't do a lot of other social media. Um, I just feel like when you're a mom and you're busy and you love to read and are trying to have a YouTube channel, you just have to cut some things out. So I don't do a lot of other electronic entertainment, such as television and, um, and social media, because I want to spend my time reading. So that's what I do. So I think that covers pretty much how I get any reading done. I also will sometimes, like if it's the weekend and I, uh, my husband will let me take a few hours out of the house. I sometimes will just sit in my car and read. Like I'll go drive. We have some places that have like good views of the river around here and I will just go drive and sit and read because that's how I like to spend my time. So that's what I do. Okay, so the second question is, what do you like to read to your kids? So I think there's a difference right now between what I like to read and what they like to read. I'm kind of trying to start pushing them into like early chapter books like Magic Treehouse, um, some other things just to have longer stories and make it more entertaining for myself. Um, they're kind of embracing that a little, but they are still very much at the stage where they just like to read picture books and they like to read the same ones over and over. So the main ones that they are interested in right now the Brave Little Tailor. They love this book. We read it over and over and over. I think we got it in a little free library at one point and it has been just a favorite. Um, Waiting is not easy. Um, Gerald and Piggy um, having an adventure in this one. And I actually do really like this one. Um, they are, Gerald is working on his patience and waiting for a surprise that Piggy has, him, has for him. So we read that a lot. This one's pretty fun. Um, it's like super easy. There's like these little animals in here and they 
oh no, dog wasn't looking where he was going. Ouch, clean it, kiss it, and put a bandage on it. And they have like these little bandage that you stick on it. And my kids are like, this book is probably like just infested with germs. They're like kissing him and like rubbing him and oh, trying to make him feel better. So they like that one as well. Um, they request this one almost every day too. Um, it's like a human body book, but when you shine a light behind it, which I'm not prepared to do at all, but like when you shine a light behind this page, like you can see the baby that's in her tummy in there. Um, and like the bones and the muscles and all sorts of things. So we read um, a lot. I want my kids to have a early love of reading. That's important to me. So those are a few of the things we read. Um, question number three is what childhood memories do you have of reading? And I remember reading a lot from a young age. One of my favorite reading memories was in fourth grade, I think, third or fourth grade, maybe both. Um, we would have a readathon, which is where you would like, instead of doing your normal classes or your normal lessons, you would spend the whole day reading and you'd bring like a little towel and you'd have special snacks and you would, um, spend the day just reading whatever books you were reading at that time and I just remember thinking that was so fun um it was everyone's favorite day of the year they usually did it kind of the end of the year towards June um it was like a just relaxed day um the teachers probably loved it too because they didn't really have to do anything and we just laid there and read I actually don't know how they got us to do it because I feel like now if you were like went into a, a room of kids and were like hey you're just gonna lay on a towel and read all day I don't know if it would go that well but it worked it was fun I loved it so the fourth prompt is give a word of encouragement to other mothers or caregivers out there so here it goes you can do it being a parent is hard work and it is one of the most challenging jobs I have ever had they say it's going to be very rewarding I could not say I'm quite there yet, but I believe this is an important job. I believe this is a job God has called me to do and I am giving it my all. And I encourage you to carve out some time in your day to read. Um, there's been tons of studies that show that reading fiction is good for you. And um, I really encourage you to spend some time doing that. Cut out the TV. Cut down the TV, cut down the social media, dig into some good books, and you will not regret it. So, on that note, I hope you are doing well. Make sure you go and check out Kelly's channel. I will link her below. She is an amazing mama who I have grown to love very quickly via the booktube community. And if you are having a bad hair day, just wear a bandana. Bye.